Rich Durrani with TMC. Thanks for watching. We're at ICD Expo 2014 in sunny Las Vegas. On our show is Victor Abelaires. He is with Wind River. And Victor, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank, thank you for having me. Uh, our pleasure. So uh, I figure it's worth starting off um, at uh, the fact that your parent company's Intel. There was an acquisition some time back. I was just mm -hmm. hoping you could talk a little bit about how that um, played out and how things are going there. Sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, yes, Wind River, Wind River is uh, has a, a rich history in the embedded space. Uh, for more than 30 years, they've had a uh, they've been in embedded leadership, and uh, as as you probably know, our software is at the heart of nearly two billion deployed devices out there. Staggering. Uh, yeah, it's a phenomenal number. So it really, you know, is is a rich backbone for things like IoT. Um, about five years ago, we were acquired by uh, Intel Corporation, which has been great because uh, it, it really facilitated the collaboration between Intel, Wind River, and McAfee in order to uh, deploy secure and integrated solutions uh, that are really scalable across uh, various industries. And that is really important, the fact that you've got McAfee in the family and you've got Intel, so you've got an ecosystem. As uh, we're seeing, there are more and more vulnerabilities with uh, MTM devices, IoT devices, and uh, one of the goals is, like you said, to securely, um, securely roll these solutions out to market. Right. That's right. I mean, you know, we're talking about legacy, uh, legacy systems that were really never intended to connect beyond those networks. So when you think of security, uh, you have to think about not only securing the device, but also security, securing the the data cycle from device to cloud and back. Uh, so, you know, being part of uh, the Intel family really allows us to, to uh, create uh, and deploy integrated solutions that really address those challenges. It's interesting. I, I think of it as uh, some of the vulnerabilities that we've heard about are, um, from a consumer standpoint, maybe a baby monitor that's hackable where somebody can see everything going on in the house and hear everything going on. And I guess from an industrial side, if another company could get access to all of your sensors and your sensor network and figure out what's going on, that obviously would be very bad. So, Right, yeah, they could definitely uh, wreak havoc with, with our uh, grid infrastructure, you know, things that we definitely don't want to see happen. So, um, you know, se securing uh, devices and securing these, these uh, systems uh, that are for critical infrastructure are really top of mind for our, our customers. Excellent. So I was hoping uh, maybe we could talk a little bit about just the potential in the IoT space. It just seems to be... Um, Limitless opportunity. Is that, is that what you see? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, IoT really has uh, the potential for drastically uh, transforming uh, business models. And, you know, uh, companies are looking for end to end solutions that are going to go beyond the device uh, and, and follow that data cycle from device to cloud and back. Um, and, and with that comes the connection of, you know, who knows what the most recent number is, but like you know, tens of billions of devices. With that comes a lot of volume of data. Uh, behind that data is where the potential is. That's where the, the business transformation potential is. Unlocking that value uh, will allow our customers to create new uh, new data. Uh, sorry, new uh, revenue streams, uh, and even optimize their current operations. So. Great. What? So tremendous opportunity. Yeah. Um, are there any other trends you're seeing in the market? Any other things we should know? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, th there's a lot of challenges associated to that. We're, uh, Wind River, we, we see uh, IoT uh, in, in kind of three steps. You want to you know, connect device, manage them, and then you get to analyze uh, the, the data that you collect and then make decisions, but all with a business challenge that you're trying to address in mind. Uh, with that comes a lot of challenges. I mean, you're going to see security. We talked about that. Interoperability is another big challenge that we're seeing. So security, um, interop, okay. Uh, manageability. Manageability. Uh, the big data paradigm. And then affordability. We've got to keep in mind that uh, if it's not affordable, people are not going to deploy uh, IoT solutions. And if they don't deploy IoT solutions, you don't get that critical mass and adoption rates fall. So it's, it's really important to keep affordability in mind. It makes a lot of sense. So I think the industry is going to be kind of at a phase where there's low-hanging fruit, where um, there are, I guess, high-value applications where cost is not as important. And hopefully, as time goes on, just the mass scale of, of these products and Moore's Law continuing mm -hmm. will drop the price and make it more affordable for um, applications that are not as high-value. And then eventually, we'll just see everything connected. 
Absolutely. I mean, it, the, the real uh, opportunity right now is in the brownfield space because there's so much legacy product out there that you're going to uh, have to figure out a way to connect to these legacy devices uh, because just ripping out the infrastructure and replacing it is just not affordable. It's not uh, feasible. Um, and, you know, Wind River tries to address that uh, along with the Intel family that you mentioned before, uh, McAfee and Intel, uh, with our uh, gateway solution that, you know, is a secure and uh, integrated gateway allowing to overcome some of the hurdles like interoperability and dealing with uh, legacy protocols, a lot of which are uh, proprietary. Uh, so it helps, do, it, it helps our customers uh, with that upfront plumbing that really is a large investment from a development standpoint. Uh, and that does drop the cost of adoption in the IoT space, which you know will help uh, that ramp up curve. It's very exciting. So yeah, um, going forward, what what can we expect uh, from from the industry, from your company? What, what should we be looking for? I mean, I think uh, there's going to be a lot of more consortium work uh, out there from the industry. Uh, it's going to require more than one player in order to drive standards and protocols and platforms. Uh, in order to make this thing really work, right. um, partnerships uh, from an ecosystem standpoint, uh, we are going to have to continue to make that build versus buy versus partner decision uh, in order to build out the ecosystem. Um, and then you, know, then you have the, the supply chain that also becomes an integral piece in, in this whole thing. From Wind River, I think you're going to see a lot of uh, solutions. Uh, most recently, we introduced some profiles for VxWorks 7, including industrial profile and uh, security profile, that are going to alleviate some of the challenges uh, when you're looking at development from a plumbing standpoint. So you have more of an out-of-the-box um, uh, feel that is going to address some of the challenges that we discussed in IoT. Very exciting. Well, thanks yeah. for being on the program today. This was great. Thank you for having me having me.